Now we get to the crux of this matter, which is very important to you, madam. The dastardly event in November 2017. Madam, you have a job, and part of that job requires you to work on a, a laptop. Am I right? Yes, Judge. That laptop is very important to you. Yes, Judge. Of course, it's got all of your work on it. Now, let's fast forward, because we've heard about Bob, we've heard about Sam, but we need to come to the wicked culprit in this case. Who is, madam? Doris. Why is she called Doris? Because she is a Doris. <laughs> She's so naughty. She's not naughty. She, she is. Are Doris's naughty? I have an Aunt Doris. Oh, she must be naughty then, Judge. She must be naughty. Well, this Doris is. Fast forward, there was a knock at the door on the, in November 2017. We can't be exactly precise about the date. No. But you went to the door. Um, I know who it is. It's my friend who needs me. Um, so I just put the laptop on the floor, not where that Doris is out of the cage. And I've said to Glenn why he's cooking, please, I've got the laptop on the floor. I've just got to answer the door. You went to the door and said something to Glenn. What did you say precisely to Glenn? I said, can you watch my laptop? It's on the floor. Do you remember words to that effect? No, Judge. I was too busy cooking in the kitchen. In other words, it could have been said, but there was lots of busy things going on. He was cooking the monge too, or whatever it was, carrots boiling, I don't know. He was having his delia in the afternoon, and you were at the front door. You finished your conversation, you came back, what did you discover? I s discovered that Doris was on his shoulder going, ooh, and, like, Glenn laughing. Doing what? Ooh. Now, and Glenn laughing. I never thought I'd come to the stage where, after 17 years dealing with cases of public and international importance, I would ask the following sentence. Michelle, please would you go and get Doris the parrot? Yes. Thank you very much. And, Peter, would you mind going to get Bob? Yes. <laughs> Are they safe? They're OK. Yeah, they're fine. Now, I have to tell you, if the two of you were not married and in the same property and say that you were flatmates, the issue here would be rather difficult to determine. The fact that you're married may, in these circumstances, make a bit of a difference. Here they are. Are they OK in the light? You're, you're yes. satisfied that yeah, they're OK? Fine. Thank you very much. Now, is that Doris? This is Bob. Bob. OK, can we give Glenn Bob? Please. Oh. And can can you have Doris? Oh right. There we are, Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Thank Doris. You. Oh. Right. We came back to your laptop. What did you discover, madam? I discovered, as I say, that um, Doris was on um, Glenn, and Glenn was laughing nervously. And what sort of nervous laugh? Can can, can you give me an impression of his nervous <laughs> laugh? Like going. <laughs> anyway. What did you discover? There was key, little, you know, the keyboard like things, like the keys. There Did you take a photograph of what you discovered? Yes. Let's have a look. <laughs> Doris, that's her. Doris! <laughs> look what you did to your mother's computer. Are you naughty, Doris? Are you naughty? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That computer is destroyed? Yes. What's the value of the computer? Um, 299. And so the value of your claim today is for the new computer of 299? That's correct. Now, I have to tell you, whether there's liability here or not, that caused you some distress, I would have thought, given how much work you've done. Yes. And how did you respond to Glenn? Did you have a titter? Well, I'll put this way, I think you ended up in the shed, didn't you, at the top of the garden? <laughs> With the fish. How long for? Just for the night. Do you have any other animals in the house? Yes. What other animals? So, in total, I've got nine parrots. Nine parrots? Seven live in the house, yes. two in the aviary, yes. and four dogs. Four dogs. <laughs> See what I'm up against, Kane. I do, sir. It was either no. that or I just dismissed him out of the house completely with his bags. Yeah, the, those were the choices, yes, yeah. madam. <laughs> Don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judge of moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel right now. That's an order.